from 2022 onwards dangerous things are going to come now why will women pregnant women be subjected to such torture why the answer is found in revelation chapter 12 verse 4 the second part of verse 4 and verse 5 the second part of verse 4 reads like this and the dragon stood before the woman who was ready to give birth to devour her child as soon as it was born so here we read of a pregnant woman who was near delivery she was about to give birth to she bore a male child who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron and her child was caught up to god and his throne now look at this verse 5 the child or the son that she gives birth to is not an ordinary baby this baby is going to do two things it's going to rule the nations with a rod of iron the scepter that will be in his hands is not just an ordinary scepter made with wood and gold plated or gold coated not like that it's an iron made of iron the scepter is made of iron now that child is mostly erroneously interpreted to mean the lord jesus now the whole book of revelation is about the future if it is about the future there cannot be one past incident in the scripture amen it's all about the future so if it's all about the future the woman here is not mother mary and the child is not the lord jesus so it tells about something else it refers to two people group the nation of israel and the last days prophetic remnant church this two group now this two group are going to give birth to a son a remnant that will come out of israel you read that in revelation chapter 7 about the 144000 that's the jewish part now the body of christ will give birth to like what we have been hearing dr bruce shay last night about the manifested sons of god a new breed of people now that new breed consists of four people group the children the youths the old men and the old women and the ministers of god four people group as joel 228 talks about this four people group will rise up in the last days and they will be anointed with all the seven spirits of god and with all the nine gifts of the holy spirit which together is what is called the powers of the age to come and they will do extraordinary miracles like never before in the entire history of the world since its beginning history has never seen anything like this before nothing is recorded in the bible where you can look for a precedent to the great miracles that the last days company army will do especially the scripture says there is a special plan of god for little babies if you read psalms chapter 8 verse 2 it talks about two baby groups number 1 nursing babies that are still drinking milk from the mother and number 2 toddlers two children groups they are going to be used powerfully by god in specifically to cast out demons 
Now, why these two people group? These two people group is God's answer to the prayers of the martyrs. If you read Revelation chapter 6, verses 9 to 11, the apostle John saw a company of martyrs in heaven and they are crying out to God, Lord, how long more before will you take vengeance on our behalf? For the past 2,000 years, they've been crying out to God. And the Lord tells them, wait, wait, wait. So there is a company of babies and toddlers in heaven among the martyrs company who have been crying out to God day and night. Lord, when will you take vengeance on our behalf? Now who are these two people group? The first baby group died during the time when baby Moses was born. Exodus chapter 1 verses 15 and 22. Pharaoh made a law that every male boy, male that is born to the Hebrew, their neck should be twisted, killed and thrown into the Nile River. Newborn babies, they all died on account of Moses. They did not die for their own. They died because of Moses. Now who is Moses? A deliverer. He is a type of the Lord Jesus Christ, a deliverer who came to set an entire nation free. So all those babies were martyrs because of Moses. Second group, Matthew chapter 2, verses, verse 16. Thoughtless, two years old and below, were killed on account of baby Jesus. When the baby Jesus was born, he, you know, in our Christmas story, when you have this nativity set, you always have the nativity set with the little baby on the manger, and the shepherds, and the goats, and the cows, and then the wise men. Right? Have you seen like that? Yeah. Now that is wrong. It's wrong because when the wise men came to Bethlehem, Jesus, the baby Jesus was not a newborn baby. He was at least two years old at that time. How do we know that? It's written in the scriptures. Because Herod asked the wise men, when did you saw the star? And from the time they saw the star, that was the time the baby was born. And from the sighting of the star, it took the wise men two years to walk through the wilderness on camels. They don't have private jets, you know where they could have come in an instant. Or they never, see, Dr. Bruce Allen was not there at that time <laughs> to teach them about school of translation. Or they could all have been, Zip. they all could have said, beam me up, Scotty. <laughs> it didn't happen there. By the way, Dr. Bruce Allen has a wonderful mandate from God. He has been called by God to teach about this translation because one of the gifts of the powers of the age to come is the anointing to teletransport from place to place. That is one of the seven horns that is on the head of the lamb. And, and I'm so thankful to God for raising up a wonderful man of God. And God has trained him for decades. Hit him in the private, in the secret, and trained him for decades and taught him about translation. And then when the time was ripe, the Lord told him, now you go and teach and prepare a people. So when they do the school here in March next year, you don't want to miss that. Do you? No. no, you don't want to miss that. Because 
you want to be you want to learn and to position yourself for that so let's come back to this wise man so by the time they came to they came to bethlehem the baby jesus was 2 years old that is the reason why herod had all babies in bethlehem 2 years and under to be killed if baby jesus was still a baby he would have ordered for just newborn babies to be killed so now you know the nativity toys are wrong so you want to change that now all the babies that were killed have become martyrs so these two baby groups those babies that were born that died during the time of moses and the toddlers who died during the time of the lord jesus god is going to answer their prayer by pouring out the anointing upon the babies and the toddlers where they will put out the devil amen, amen. you know when this revelation was first made known to me the lord told me now train the babies we have a uh, outreach to toddlers that our ministry we do and i told my staff teach them spiritual warfare so they looked at me strangely and said how will they understand i said that's not your business <laughs> because that's the exact answer the lord told me when i asked him the same question <laughs> You know when the Lord told me that I asked him so he said Lord how in the world can a little child understand about the nine gifts of the holy spirit and he told me that's not your problem <laughs> that is my problem your problem is your duty is to teach them and it is my duty to make them understand it, that's my responsibility I will take care of my responsibility you take care of yours so we should you know nursery ministry we should change the entire ministries that we do in our churches don't just play christian songs and let the babies all look up in the sky <laughs> the, those were good for the old days those are not good for these last days amen. amen if your babies are going to cast out demons they should know about demonology yeah. right yeah. it doesn't matter whether they understand or don't understand make the awareness so when the time comes they will know what to do when they see a demon they will know oh this is the powers of the this is the principality of the powers of the air they will know that how to cast out demons teach them that that's what the lord jesus said this is what you should do amen if you have little babies in your house or in a church or toddlers teach them how to cast out demons that's their destiny this is what we should focus on not entertain our babies or toddlers you know there's so much of entertainment going on in the church today that the church doesn't look like a church anymore it looks like an entertainment center a disco and all the people who come to the church on sundays or weekday bible studies are just coming there to have some fun and games you call a prayer meeting but there's hardly any prayer there's so much of talking and feasting
one day Jesus is coming. You may be at church. You may be at work. You may be asleep. God grant that you will be ready when he makes his personal appearance. My God, what if his appearance occurs on a Sunday morning? My prophetic word to you this morning is get ready.